We begin the conversation this morning with an update from Dubai's Emirates Airline, where it has announced that it will suspend all flights to Nigeria from the 1st of September. Now, according to the airline, Nigeria has failed to repatriate millions of dollars of its funds. In a statement made yesterday, the 18th of August, the airline said that it took the difficult decision in order to limit further losses, citing circumstances beyond their control. Emirates announced in July that it has $85 million awaiting repatriation from Nigeria, a figure it said was rising by more than $10 million every month. Emirates says it has uh, a wall in court. Emirates has tried every avenue to address our ongoing challenges in repatriating funds from Nigeria and have made considerable efforts to initiate dialogue with the relevant authorities for their urgent intervention to help find a viable solution, end quote. The airline said, adding that, uh, regrettable, uh, regrettably rather, there has been no progress. Other international airlines operating in Nigeria have also uh, had their revenues trapped in the country, which the International Air Transport Association said in June amounted to $450 million. I mean, this is a very sad update. According to that international uh, IATA, they had said that Africa as a continent has about a billion dollar revenue that all the countries, all, a lot of the foreign airlines, you know, have trapped within the continent. But Nigeria has the highest uh, rates. And it's unfortunate because we, a lot of people's businesses, lots of things will be changed by the fact that these airlines will no longer be accessible to Nigeria from the 1st of September. I mean, from their report, from their statement, they're saying they've been having dialogue with the federal government, but they're turning a deaf ear. Or it's not been able to yield any response. Yeah. I mean, um, as of July, you know, IATA um, said as of July was uh, $464 million. Um, but, uh, you know, since then or between July and now, you know, I think it's risen to about $600 million that is, you know, trapped here in Nigeria. Um, and of course, you know, everyone, you know, who has followed the CBN's dollar policy you know, in the last few years would know where this is coming from. You know, the CBN doesn't have dollars to give anybody. Um, and I saw, you know, Senator Shea Usani joking around with it yesterday saying Nigeria should use other local airlines, you know, and stuff like that. But this really, you know, is a serious enough issue. I think everyone should understand how much damage it will do to everyone, every company, major company that might be thinking of doing business in Nigeria. Yeah, exactly. Um, if you can't take your money out, then you can't continue to do business. And that's simply what Ayata is saying, you know, in support of Emirates Airline. If you can't, if you do business here, but you can't take the money out, um, then, you know, your business will eventually fold and you cannot continue to um, incur losses because of the you dollar policy of Nigeria. It'll be interesting to hear what Godin Emefili and the CBN actually are doing in this regard because, I mean, everyone's access to foreign exchange is limited and you're thinking, just like you've mentioned, a lot of in, in international investors, people who are looking... Nigeria is a very viable economy for investors, but with all the recent policies restricting uh, uh, foreign exchange, res restricting access to foreign exchange, just one wonders what will happen in the next few months. How many businesses might be pulling out of the country? Yes. I mean, what happens is it sets a precedence. One person leaves and the others realize, you know what, we're not the only ones struggling. We can't continue. And they start to leave one after the other. And it's not going to look good. Yeah, and, and you can also imagine, you know, and this is for me is the, is, you know, one aspect that we shouldn't ignore is it's the damage that this does to intending um, you know, companies across the world that will have thought of Nigeria, the giant of Africa, this is where we should definitely bring our, you know, or, or, you know set, set, up, uh, set up in Africa. Um, but they hear things like this and realize that maybe it's a wrong time or maybe they shouldn't bother with this. Um, and so it's, not, it's really not a good time. And, you know, the, the CBN governor might have his reasons, you know, which they have stated over and over and over. But for a company of this size and this magnitude and for other international companies that have invested in your country, um, or brought their business to your country, I think that they should... They, they deserve should, better Yeah, as absolutely. Well. I mean, our ratings will keep dropping on the ease of doing business index. It will continue at this rate. And it would spiral into the other areas of our economy. But absolutely. we'll certainly be bringing updates on that story. And we hope that before the 1st of September, I mean, we have a few more days to the 1st of September, that there will be healthy dialogue between them and the government and we can possibly see a way out of this. Absolutely. Mm -hmm.